Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today got a quick tutorial for you. Going to show you how to improve the looks of GTK applications when you are running a KDE distribution. Now, a lot of us use applications that are, you know, some that are GTK based, some that are um, QT or KDE based. Now, the, the, the problem comes into is that by default, KDE applications generally don't look good inside of GNOME-based or GTK-based distributions. And the opposite is true. The GTK applications don't look all that great inside of uh, KDE. Uh, the plus side with KDE is they have enabled um, some fairly easy tools to go and improve the looks uh, and, and do some theming with GTK based applications. Um, unfortunately the, the opposite is not true in the case of a GNOME based distribution. Um, most of the time you end up downloading um, basically a whole bunch of KDE de um, dependencies and, and whatnot so that you are able to uh, get some at least halfway decent theming out of your uh, KDE based distribution or KDE based applications. But anyway, let's just, let's get right to how we're going to do this. Just so open up your system settings. Now I am running Kubuntu 14.04 right now. Um, but the, the basic procedure here is going to be the same whether you're using a KDE 4 based uh, distribution or the uh, the new Plasma 5. The, the, the basics of it are going to be uh, nearly identical. So under your system settings go to application appearance and scroll down to where it says GTK. And here if you look you can set GTK2 theme and a GTK3 theme. Down at the bottom you can also set an icon theme and then a fallback theme. Now th here's the themes that I that I've picked and they're not a perfect match to my overall KDE theme but they're pretty close and, and they make the GTK application look fairly decent. I went with for GTK2 theme the Zukui, I, I guess that's how you pronounce it, um, and then for GTK3 this Graybird and then also you can pick a font. Um, I went with uh, Ubuntu uh, um, 9 and then uh, of course you got a little GTK style toolbar. How do you want that set up? Show the icon, that kind of thing. But mainly I'm focused on the theming here. So as far as setting up, getting those themes installed, there's a couple of different routes you can go. You can come down here, and this is the easiest route to go, is come down here, get new themes, pick download GTK 2 or 3, whichever you want to do. And then you can either scroll through what's listed here or you can do an active search. Pick one, download it and install boom you're ready to go so you know like say this numix dark right here you could just click install boom it'll install you're done and then you know do the same thing for the uh, gtk2 the other thing you can do is install a local theme and what you're going to do there is down go out and find a theme download it or create it yourself if you're if you're uh if you know what you're doing as far as creating themes um, and then upload it locally so right here is gnome look and I found that to be one of the best places that you can get the GTK based theme so you can once again you can either scroll through everything they list here do a search however you want to do it but anyway go and download your file and then it's a simple matter of coming here to this dialog box install local theme pick the file, install it, boom, and you're done. Now just so you can see what I've what I've got going on here, of course here's the my general theming which is um, uh, it's a QT curve for the widget style and then 
if you come down here to workspace appearance the theming is called called evolver light pure let me go and open LibreOffice which I will tell you that LibreOffice as much as I love the application as far as trying to get the theming to look good in in KDE it is probably one of the worst um, as far as trying to get a good looking theme so if you can get LibreOffice to look halfway decent the rest of your your GTK uh, based applications are probably going to be golden so let me open this up and so doesn't look too bad here the one gripe I've got is when you go and highlight the uh, the various applications there um, it's kind of blocky and that doesn't look it's not bad but it could look better but anyway let me go and open up writer and you know looking at writer here it it looks pretty good um, the drop-down menus they look pretty good and like I said it's not an exact match to my KDE theming but it's pretty close um, before this application it looked like something that rolled out of uh, Windows 95 or maybe even Windows Windows 3.3 I mean it, it looked blocky and, and and very 1990s ish um, very clunky fat title bars all that kind of stuff so it very much improved the look of it now if you want to go and use the same theme that I did once again the um, the GTK 3 the GTK 2 theme that I picked was Zukui and the GTK 3 theme was Greybird um, obviously if you're using a, a dark theming for your KDE theming those aren't going to well, they might, you'd have to play around with it, see how it looks, but probably is not going to match as well. Um, it might, I don't know. You just have to play around and try it. Um, you know, I like the look of dark themes, but at the same time, um, these eyes don't work quite as well as they did uh, 25 years ago. Um, so the, uh, the lighter themes are uh, a whole lot more readable for me. But anyway, that is about it on this tutorial. Um, uh, probably something that is m more helpful for either the new users or somebody new to KDE. But anyway, as always, give us a big old thumbs up if you like the video, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff. Leave that down below. And uh, I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.